end of the year. With all due respect, Congressman, when are the adults going to enter the room? When are you oh, actually going to come to an agreement about these important issues that have all these American lives in the balance? Well, I don't take kindly to being called a non-adult, frankly. I, you know, you remind me sometimes of what I guess your colleague Joe Kernan said when I try to get the conversation, I thought, more thoughtful. Oh, Congressman, Let's this is... Let's talk about can, the issues. Come on, what about me. the fiscal cliff? This is... I'm, I'm trying to talk about the tone in which we talk about him. Uh, when Mr. Kernan said to me, oh, this is cable, not C-SPAN. Yes, I want to talk seriously about the issues. I try to respond to questions you raise. You change the subject. As far as the fiscal cliff, I believe that the responsible position is to say you need some tax increase, some cuts in the military, and some cuts on domestic spending. The problem we have, and by the way, you said I blame the Bush administration. I was not blaming them for what happened in 2008. I embraced what Hank Paulson recommended. I was explaining. But, but you just that, said a minute ago that the Republicans squashed any opportunity to get something done in terms of no, the Dodd Frank. You just blamed the Republicans. We, well, look, I'll rewind the tape. Okay, let's stop. No, with I'm the sorry. You're not going to do this to me. You're not going to misstate what I said and then shut me off from responding. I okay. didn't say the Republicans squashed us from doing anything. I, get, I was much more specific than that. Can't you focus on the specifics? They, there were two agencies that are given responsibility to do derivatives, the SEC and the CFTC, and the Republicans have starved them of the money they needed to do the rules. That's not a general condemnation. It's a specific reference to specific action that the Republicans took in the House. As to the fiscal situation, I'm trying very hard to do that. Last week, I went, worked together with a Tea Party leader, Mick Mulvaney of South Carolina, and for the first time, we got the House to vote to the Appropriations Committee wanted to give to the military. We have got to get an all-around solution. There are people who say, no, no tax increases yeah. at all, no cuts in domestic spending. Uh, unfortunately, under the American system of government, you have these checks and balances. It can be hard to get everybody together. So I agree, and I tried to take the lead in that last week, along with a Tea Party Republican, by uh, agreeing to cut the military uh, in ways that I think show us how to get there. So what's the realistic vision in your view then? Do you think this gets done after the election? you think this gets done in 2013? Is it going to be threatening the U.S. economy going into recession if in fact this is not dealt with yes. until after the election? Well, I don't think it's a threat if it waits till after the election. It would be, I think, if it waited until 2013. The point is that after the election it still hasn't taken effect. Look, there was a problem with this. And again, you're going to, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but the Republican Tea Party people, not all the Republicans, but the Tea Party people held up passing a debt relief increase, and the CBO said that cost the economy a trillion dollars in, in increased costs. That's just irresponsibility. That's not equally shared responsibility. Now we go forward to what do we do? And I think the answer is you have very severe differences. Look, part of this involves the voters. The voters elected one set of people in 2008, then a very different set of people in 2010. Under the American system of government, you have shared powers. If right. this was England in 2010, a new majority would have come in and run everything. That's why I think it's going to take the election of 2012 to be the tiebreaker. That's why I hope it will be done right after the election, not waiting until 2013. Okay, that is, we'll again, be watching. People voted for two very different groups of people. We differ, honestly, and the way to, uh, to get that resolved is to see what the people now want in 2012, and that will dictate the outcome. Congressman, the voters know you're working hard. We appreciate your time tonight. Always a pleasure to have you on this program. Sometimes more than others. <laughs> Ditto, sometimes more than others. I'll see you soon. Barney